Hello, my little perfectionists, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to take a look at episode four of Solo Leveling. When we last saw Solo Leveling was episode three, obviously, and he had gotten some kind of new HUD, and apparently he's got to do like daily task and all that, or else he gets punished by being sent to like some other realm or whatnot. Like not a whole lot's been explained yet. I'm sure they're going to go into it a bit more in detail as the show goes on. But uh, so far, it's been pretty interesting. And at the very end, he was in his own kind of solo instance dungeon. So we'll kind of see what happens from there, because he mentioned that he doesn't have a healer or any way to heal himself. So he's got to be pretty careful. So without further ado, let's continue with episode four of Solo Leveling. Fair warning, unfortunately, I think he's going to have to kill the dog. <laughs> Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> well, that worked a hell of a lot better than punching the thing. <laughs> that one's got a metal thing on the top of his jaw. Does that make it stronger? Oh, level two now. Yeah, see, he was at level one. Yeah, he's just going for a strength build at this point. Time to grind. Getting any drops? Yeah, it did operate different from the other dungeons. Oh, he came back with friends. <laughs> That's a lot. You get a few levels just doing this. Oh, he's turning into a battle junkie. Yeah, he's getting all kinds of levels now. I was about to say, I wish they'd show his inventory. Oh, he can leave and come back then? Level 15 already. <laughs> Should check the store again and see if he can use it now that he's level 15. <laughs> of the swamp but if it's yellow it's around didn't he say if it was orange it was like around his level 
I mean, so at least he's got a fighting shot. <laughs> no, not underwater. <laughs> He's getting tossed like a rag doll. Shit, Frank, I'm after him. <laughs> I mean, it's the one thing to fight the boss. Now you got to deal with like dungeon hazards too. <laughs> he said he had two daggers in his inventory. Why are you not using the daggers? Instead of the broken sword. He's just getting battered around. Oh, is that like his limit break? <laughs> France. He broke through the scales. All he really needed was a really big hug. Nice. Way to go. Probably get a pretty good loop for that one, huh? A couple of levels too, I was I would suppose. That looks nice. Oh, he got the little bit of damage there. Alright, let's see. Oh, the dungeon break. Oh, Rock monster. <laughs> no pictures. That's pretty much exactly how it would be in real life, too. <laughs> Is that the best they could do? E and D rank? Boss <laughs> a <laughs> right in the face. Yeah, probably better not to get in there and show off. He's like on a completely different ranking system. Oh, 
コーレムあんまり体力残ってなかったんかな Okay, so that was episode four of Solo Leveling. It's、uh, starting to pick up. We're, trying to, we're getting more and more information about his, his system that he's on, but I'm not, still not quite sure if they'll ever really explain it. They'll just, like, like I said, my, my big question is, is like, because nobody else can seem to see it. Like, are there going to be other people with the same system that can see it later on? I mean, I assume we'll get into that at some point because he's on a completely different sort of ranking system than like everybody else is. Because, like, even when they tested him for like a reawakening, he was still like at like barely above a civilian, is what they had said. And what was that, episode three? So, this is like a completely different sort of um, leveling thing than what he was previously on because they couldn't level before. You just basically you start off at like whatever rank you are, and that's it. But, uh, I don't know. So, like, It's good to see he's getting levels, but like I said, I'm more just curious that if other people have like the same sort of ability. I mean, it's obviously tied to like what happened to him in that first uh in that first dungeon with the the god statues and whatnot. uh I don't know. It may be one of those questions that gets answered like way down the road or something like that. But so far, so good. Like I'm I'm enjoying it. uh It's definitely uh it's definitely picking up a bit. So like. I'm anxious to see where it goes. Is it going to be the same sort of thing every time where he just kind of goes into、um, his own kind of little instance dungeons? So, yeah, I'm really interested to see where it goes. So far, so good. And I'm really enjoying it. So, that'll be it for this week. And I'll catch you next week. Bye bye.